The World Games are coming in July of 2022. Sumo, softball, lacrosse, sport climbing, powerlifting, and more. This is the new generation of sports. Tickets are on sale. Buy today at TWG2022.com. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Friday, the 9th of July. I'm James Spann. Pretty classic summer day today for Alabama. Some locations getting thunder and heavy rain. For others, the sun is shining, and we'll see that mix of sun and scattered storms over the weekend as well. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country today. Once again, a very intense upper high out west where they are hot and dry. We have broad troughing over the eastern states. There's the visible satellite view. Again, for some locations... It's sunny. For some spots, it's pouring rain. That's the nature of these random storms in summer. That was the radar composite around 2.30. And a cluster of strong storms coming across the southern part of the Birmingham metro. That's the one that we're experiencing here. Thunderstorms over extreme south Alabama and over the Tennessee Valley as well. Some big storms in the Atlanta metro. Now, when this was taken at 225, Birmingham was at 90. But uh, at this point, Birmingham in the 70s because of rain, Tuscaloosa 80. They've seen thunderstorms today, Anniston 89. There's the watch warning map. Uh, Elsa moving away from the northeast United States. Those uh, tropical storm warnings and flash flood watches will expire there tonight. Out west, number of heat advisories and excessive heat warnings. An enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms through tonight, including St. Louis up to uh, Des Moines. Des Moines had some very active storms today. Also got a risk over the Atlantic coast, a marginal risk clipping the northeastern corner of Alabama today. Tomorrow, a chance of severe storms just north and west of Alabama. That would include places like Oklahoma City and Paducah, Kentucky, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Day three, which is Sunday, got a marginal risk of severe storms again just north and west of here. Rain for the next seven days. The heavier totals across parts of the Midwest. Down here, up in the Shoals, they could receive over two inches of rain, about an inch and a half for Huntsville, generally under one inch for the southern two-thirds of the state. But as we always stress, your number could vary. These maps are awfully hard to draw in summer because of the random scattered nature of the showers and storms. Elsa is now post-tropical uh, up around Boston, moving rapidly northeast up toward the Canadian Maritimes. Uh, otherwise, things are awfully quiet across the Atlantic. And here's one uh, issue. We've got a lot of dust uh, from the Sahara coming off the African continent. That'll be coming across the main development region of the Atlantic Basin. So it looks like the tropics, at least on the Atlantic side, will be shut down for a while. Tropical storm formation not expected through the middle of next week. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. 597 upper high out west, hot and dry trough digging down across the Midwest. And for us, I'm not so sure the weather's just going to change that much. You know, we had talked about maybe a decrease in the number of showers tomorrow. They'll be around, no doubt about that. Scattered showers and storms, much like today, uh, mostly during the afternoon and evening hours. Partially sunny, highs mid to upper 80s, and really the same thing on Sunday, although the better coverage of storms could be a little north and west of the state with a trough there. And that trough comes in here Monday. Uh, so Monday looks relatively wet, mostly cloudy, with a good chance of showers and storms. Highs 80 to 85. Here's Tuesday, maybe a smidgen drier, still a chance of scattered showers. Wednesday, classic summer weather. Same thing on Thursday. And a week from today, Friday, July the 16th, troughing to the north. Then again, we'll have scattered showers and storms around. We'll go out 10 days. This is Monday, July 19th. Again, an upper high to the west, broad troughing over the east. And again... Looks pretty typical, partly sunny with a chance of a few scattered storms. Rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean around four inches between now and the 25th of July. Temperatures, again, just not that bad. Most days, mid to upper 80s, lows around 70. We can be baking, sizzling well up in the 90s this time of the year. And look at here, brand new CPC outlook. This is for July 17th through July the 23rd. Suggesting temperatures here could be a little below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. While I have notes on the blog, my next video will be here by Monday morning at 6 o'clock. If you can, watch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be 
a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, be prepared, not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook.com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.